Welcome to Jordan. Hi guys, my name is Christina and while traveling Jordan, I discovered that this country has some amazing food to offer. People say that the best falafel in the whole world can be found in Jordan. I absolutely agree and in my opinion, there is even more than that. In this travel vlog, I will take you to the best affordable restaurants that we visited while traveling Jordan. I will also show you some typical local dishes that you just have to try when you are all the way there. So let's get started. Jordanian food is influenced by North Africa, the Middle East, Persia and the Mediterranean. Amman, the capital of Jordan, is the best place to try various restaurants and famous Jordanian food. One of the most popular restaurants in Amman is the Hashem restaurant. This is the best falafel and hummus I ate during my whole stay in Jordan. This restaurant is more than 50 years old and it is especially popular among locals for breakfast, but it is open during the whole day. This restaurant has no menu, so you need to know what you want to order. My recommendation is falafel, stuffed falafel with onions and herbs, hummus, mutabel and four. All of this will be automatically served with some Arabic bread. Do not expect anything luxurious. It is open air space with some plastic chairs and plastic tables, but the food is so delicious. As a tourist, you will find out soon that it is very hard to find some bar or a restaurant with some beer or cocktails. At the end of the day, you are in a Muslim country, so certain rules and culture must be respected. Although there are some restaurants where you can find alcohol. We tried the books at cafe and somewhere else pub and bar in Rainbow Street. Both were amazing. One of the typical local dishes is full. It's a typical Jordan breakfast and pretty much it's uh, just like smashed beans with some lemon juice and with some olive oil and you're supposed to eat it with your fingers. So I'm gonna try it now. Guys, it's really good. I, I thought it's gonna be disgusting, honestly, <laughs> but it's very nice. Really, you have to try it when you are in Jordan. Throughout your travels in Jordan, you will be mostly eating local food. As delicious as it is, we honestly needed at one point some break. In the middle of our travels at the Dead Sea, we went to the Dubliners Irish pub and restaurant. It had great ratings on Google and I must say that the food there was excellent. If you feel like eating some American cheeseburger or nachos or salad or actually anything that is not hummus, give it a try. And moving on to Petra. One of the best places you should absolutely visit is the Sajiat Al Janoub restaurant. The signature dish to order here is Sajiat, from which is the restaurant named. The waiter told us that uh, this Sajiat is a typical Bedouini dish that they would prepare uh, when they would uh, travel. So uh, they would have a lot of energy because it's super easy to prepare. It's kind of like a lamp with some uh, red, green, yellow, uh, yellow peppers and also some onions. You also can have a chicken version. It's amazing. The food is very great. It's actually one of the best dishes uh, we've tried here. I was a bit uh, skeptical about the lamb because I don't actually quite like the lamb, but I must say that it's cooked and prepared very, very well. So absolutely, if you are here, get the lamb. Really good. Highly recommend to check it out. When you enter the lost city of Petra, there are two main restaurants where you can eat your lunch at. It's the middle of the day and we're gonna have some lunch. We're having some uh, falafel here with uh, some Arabic bread. Also there is uh, the Arabic salad, it's also here. And there is some uh, lamb here and some chicken also with, uh, with peppers. And I think this one in the middle it's Koleslav and of course some hummus buffet style so i'm just gonna eat till i pop there are actually two main restaurants uh they are both buffets one is more expensive nicer one is uh cheaper and i would say a little bit more authentic uh so we are we are in the cheaper one and i think the food looks amazing here is some delicious freshly fried falafel with hummus so good 
Also, you will probably have to stop for some refreshments during the day. There are many food stands everywhere, but I genuinely recommend to try their freshly squeezed juice and do not try their coffee. I really was not a fan of it. Moving on to Wadi Ram Desert, where we had a blast. First thing that we experienced while arriving to the Wadi Ram Desert was a goat barbecue for lunch. Once we arrived, we got this amazing uh, Beduini uh, tea as a greetings. But then actually the guy who owns this place told us that uh, they are celebrating because they just finished building this beautiful camp. Uh, so he and the guys who are working in the reconstruction killed a goat uh, as like some kind of sacrifice. They were having some barbecue, so he invited us. It was such a great experience to eat this goat with them. For dinner, we got a great experience experience as well. We had a chance to try the typical Bedouin dish Zarp, which is cooked in underground oven. This way of cooking does not require much equipment, which was important as Bedouins traveled a lot because of their nomadic lifestyle. Many Bedouin camps usually provide this experience for their guests as a part of their stay. During your stay in Wadi Ram Desert, you must drink their Bedouin tea. Just a friendly reminder, it's very very sweet. Even when they tell you they just put a little bit of sugar in it, it's usually not the case. You will also probably take the jeep tour to experience the Wadi Ram Desert properly. Great news! As a part of this experience, a lunch in the middle of the desert will be served to you and it will be prepared by your own driver. And we're going to have Galayla. Galayla? Galaya, Galaya, <laughs> and it's a traditional uh, food from here. It's uh, some beans, onions, uh, tomatoes, and we're gonna make it on a fire. You eat it with uh, some eggplant and with some cream cheese and also the Arabic bread. And it's so delicious. This is actually my third plate, no kidding. <laughs> and I'm gonna make this at home because it's so, so good. Just enjoy the meal and views. So these are my main recommendations and food that I genuinely enjoyed. I hope you find it helpful. Coming to Jordan, you will also definitely want to check out video top 10 things to do in Jordan. I would like to invite you to be part of the channel. So if you want to hit the subscribe button, it's right there. And there will be more videos posted and new travels coming up. So thank you and see you in the next video.